I am here with Damon Wilson. Damon, I think what we all love the most about you is you never show up just to get your hand raised. You always show up to entertain us. Of course, you know, the, the cut that you caused stopped the fight after this, the first round. I think we were all really excited to finally see a second round, but how do you feel about it? Yeah, uh, no, you're exactly right. The fans get, me to, get, get to me a little bit to where I came out a little reckless. I just love to scrap, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in my blood. I can't help it. And uh, yeah, I'm thankful that the knee landed, but I'm kind of like you guys. I was ready for a second round. Mm -hmm. uh, I had my win back in between rounds. I was ready for a war. James is a absolute warrior, man. He was ready to go for a second round too. Um, I didn't see the cut, but I'm assuming that it must have been pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I'm blessed I got the win. And fighting a former teammate, how does that feel? Yeah, you know, me and James trained, uh, you know, we only trained a couple months together. It was when I first moved to San Diego. He's a phenomenal guy, you know. I Really, he wasn't the guy that I wanted to fight, but sometimes that's the fight, how the fight yeah. game goes. Um, I'm just was pleased that he stepped up to the plate. And uh, like I said, he's a warrior and um, we, we, we went to war, that's for sure. Yeah, because you were scheduled to fight a long time ago, but you were only matched recently. How hard was it to stay focused during that time? Uh, you hit the, the nail on the hammer there. Um, I, I tried to stay focused for this date. It was starting to look a little grim and I got worried. I, I kind of almost you know, flipped the switch of the fact that I wasn't fighting and then uh, something came up. So I flipped that switch right back on. I was in shape, I was ready to go. So it was just a mental reset and uh, yeah, we got after it, got the job done. You actually had to drop an extra five pounds. Did that affect you at all? Did you feel like maybe your energy level was different or anything? That was probably a mindset thing too. Uh, it messed with my mind a little bit. Um, but once I actually got a little closer to the, to the weight and then I made weight, yeah. I felt really good once I rehydrated and I was ready to go. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe I can make a test of bantam weight, but I think that's going to be a little much. <laughs> you bantam weights got lucky, so I'll probably be staying at featherweight <laughs> for the rest of the time. Well, speaking of featherweight, so basically, Cage Warrior has been talking more and more about mi mixing the rosters, right, between U.S. and Europe. And the European featherweight roster is probably, I mean, probably like the strongest division in Cage Warriors. Is there anyone in particular that maybe you have your eyes on? Yeah, no, you're, you're right on that too. There's a ton of good featherweights out there over in the UK. Uh, you know, obviously I got my eyes on the guys that, that have 12 pounds of gold. That's what I'm in this sport <laughs> for. So I know those two boys are going to settle their differences uh, mid-November and hopefully they can settle the score. And I don't, want, don't know what's going to happen after that, but I'd love to scrap with one of those dudes and, uh, you know, show them what a American wrestler is all about. And would you like to get back in there maybe one more time before the end of the year? That was the plan. That was definitely the plan. We're winding down here. I would like to go home and spend a little bit of time with my family. I haven't seen my newborn niece yet. I'm missing my dog. I was away from my wife for three months, so uh, maybe take a couple weeks off and then reset the mind. And yeah, I'd love to get another scrap in before the end of the year. Nice. Well, we can wait to look for, you know, we look forward to seeing you in there again. Thank you. Thank you very much, Edith. I'm glad that I could talk to you and I'm glad you're here. So thank you.